hello guys welcome once again and in today's video in today's short video actually I'm gonna show you that how can you run any exe file from your computer okay so that is quite similar to my uh, one of the previous video in which I have told you how yet how can you open any file dialogue and um, that kind of thing so we are going to use that thing okay so first of all you need to go to your toolbox and you need to search for a button and then just drag it out and when you drag it out make sure that you change its name okay so let's change its name from here open xz file okay so now the text has been changed so to in order to open any xz file i need to write a code inside of that button uh, so that its action listener have that code and whenever I click that button and a dialogue should be opened in front of me and then what happened that I should you know if I select any executable file and then when I open it it should run okay so when I will double click that it will take me to the event of this button but before that I need to add a library on the top of that okay so I'll go on the top and I will add here a library that using system dot diagnostics right so this is a library that we usually use in for uh, running the process in C sharp application okay so now we'll come back to the event of that button and in here we'll write a short code first of all we need to open our dialog box so that we can select a file from our computer so for that purpose I will create an open file dialog variable and let's name it uh, D D1 let's say and new open file dialog and now I need to close this alright so the next thing I need to do I need to write an if statement and I need to check if the you know the button is clicked or something is clicked I mean I need to make sure that if an object or if an executable file is selected then you need to uh, execute that code that will be in these parentheses okay so I'll write a code here for that d1 that is my open file dialog object then dot show dialog if this thing is double equal to because in C sharp to show equals in if conditional in conditional statements you put double equal okay so system dot windows dot forms sorry for that um, dot forms dot dialog result dot ok so what this line is gonna do it will make sure if any object or any executable file is selected or not ok so what happened first that when I click that button first a dialog is opened then it will make sure if anything is selected from that dialog or not then if not selected then nothing is gonna happen if selected then this code will execute that I'm gonna write now so I need to take the path of that file for that I will make a variable string path and I will store that uh, path of that file uh, into my this path variable that uh, that is basically a string variable okay so I'll write here file name all right so I think this uh, these you do not need to put these parentheses um, right okay so the next thing and the last thing that I will I will do I need to run that process that executable file so for that purpose I will hit process dot start but I have to give the path of that file that I need to run right so for that purpose what I will do I can directly either write that in here 
or I can just simply put that variable so actually I have stored this in this variable so I will use that variable path so I'll write here path okay so now you are pretty much done here and this was the simple code for that so I hope you have got the concept here once again I'm gonna make it clear to you that this open file dialog will open the dialog box then this will make sure that any executable file is selected or not if selected then this code will be executed and the process will start running I mean it will run the executable file so let's go ahead and run our program and let's see what we have on our output okay so when you start your visual studio for the first time then it is gonna take a while to run your program because uh, you know it keeps loading all the stuff so let's wait until it runs our program so now my program starts running so I'll put my credentials in and when I will put my credentials in I will press login it tells me login successful and it will directly take me to this part so now what I need to do I will hit open executable file so now what I'm gonna do let's say I open Chrome this is an executable file in my system so when I will hit open you can see that Google Chrome has opened right here okay so let's open another executable file um, this is an executable file right so when I will hit open you can see this kind of window appears that you might not able to see because it covers the screen right because I have cancelled the operation of vamp server I did not hit ok so it has showed me this output that operation was cancelled by the user because I cancelled the running of vamp server ok so I hope you have enjoyed today's video and uh, thanks for watching and please rate comment subscribe bye for now